In one week, Ashes of Creation will give us what we can only assume is the largest, most exciting Ashes of Creation stream we have ever gotten. There will be an Alpha 2 release date, with what I am hoping is a trailer to go alongside it. After years of waiting, the time is finally here. The start to what will be a very long road ahead, filled with bugs and broken things and tests that may not be that fun to play at times, but persistent Ashes of Creation content available up through the launch of the game will be available for those who have chosen to back into Alpha 2 and help shape the future of the game. There will also be the first ever look at the Bard archetype, one that has been hyped up from the beginning but didn't even exist in concept in the Alpha 0 stages where we saw some of those other roughly slapped together archetypes. The Bard in Ashes of Creation is said to be one one that is meant to amplify a party or a raid's ability to perform within their own classes. Whether that be healing, damage, or damage mitigation, the bard will play a crucial role in the most successful dungeon adventures. And it will do this through proximity-based skill combination melodies given through dance, song, and story. A literal life to the party that should give us a very fun take on this classic archetype that seems to have faded a bit in modern MMOs. We will see this bard wearing the Rosethorn set, this armor set that is said to be a drop within the Citadel of Steelbloom, a raid or a dungeon other than the Tower of Carfin? Thanks to creative director Stephen Sharif, we have been leaked this new point of interest. But will this be what we are seeing July 31st? Most of us expected the Tower of Carfin to really be the only dungeon in Alpha 2 at launch. It's the only one we've seen, it's the only one Intrepid has talked about, so hearing them mention this Citadel of Steel Bloom is pretty exciting. And what better way to show this Bard archetype's true support than seeing it work together with an entire party inside a dungeon providing support to each member of the team as they work to take down some trash mobs or some bosses and gain some loot. Dungeons and raids are something we haven't seen yet for any of the Alpha 2 previews outside the Cyclops world boss that isn't really a take on a dungeon, there is no trash mobs, there are no halls to traverse, any exploration, or any of that thing you'd find inside a traditional MMO dungeon, so this could be a very exciting time for this showcase. And some of you may be thinking, that the name Citadel of Steel Bloom sounds kind of familiar. Maybe it's something that's been mentioned in the past? Well, after some extensive research, I discovered this, the vestiges of the Steel Bloom cosmetic pack, released back in October of 2021. Through the lore of this pack, we learned that a wise alien queen formed the Order of the Steel Bloom, an order made up of specially selected knights strong of heart and valor. This order was essential in carrying out near impossible missions during the last days of of Vera before the apocalypse. When the Divine Gateways opened, the Queen ordered these knights to make haste to Brighthold, a coastal area once seen on the Ashes of Creation Apocalypse map. Obviously, this map was made for the Battle Royale and probably won't resemble close to anything we see in the final game, but it's as close as we can get to understanding this area and where these Knights of Steel Bloom went to. If Brighthold is indeed still a coastal town, well then perhaps this is where that Citadel is. Maybe some corruption took over them and they formed this citadel of steel bloom and it's going to be this point of interest as we find out what happened to them in the bright hold but this could also be our first look at some coastal or western side of the Riverlands, an area that we really haven't seen much of at all yet. Beyond all that, we do know that select Alpha 1 testers have been invited into some pre-A2 testing, with more invites to come to other players eventually. So perhaps Intrepid will talk a bit more about those tests or give players an idea on when they can expect more invites to go out. Alpha 2 key sales are also something that are on the horizon and something I am hoping we learn more of in this live stream to perhaps help ease the minds of the community a bit. There's been a lot of talk around those, specifically involving the price and the time frame of when Intrepid plans to drop these keys, and I hope it's something that Margaret and Steven will actually address in this upcoming stream. July is just the beginning though. If Intrepid is still on track for Ashes of Creation's Alpha 2 in Quarter 3, well then there's probably only one more live stream before this big event after July. Unless A2 happens to be on the very last day of September, then they might squeeze one in. So we can 
pretty much anticipate that August will be the stream that we've been told of that will take us through all of the bits and pieces of what exactly we can expect from Alpha 2 and its launch, and maybe a few teases of what's to come in those first major patches alongside the Rogan Summoner. Intrepid has also mentioned that they plan to do tons of articles breaking down these specific features as we get closer to Alpha 2, and I bet that time is going to be August as these things really start to ramp up. Through those articles and that live stream, I expect to learn more about the regions available, no details, dungeons, raids, character progression, crafting professions, along with what their primary points of testing will be when Alpha 2 actually begins. I don't imagine Intrepid will give us every drop of information though, as they've said many times in the past that they want to leave some room for surprise as players set out to explore this brand new world. We only have two more months until we finally reach that, well, that kind of finish line. It's not the real finish line, but it's the Alpha 2 finish line. That's like this big halfway mark, and it's it's just really exciting. You know what I mean, guys. With this, there will be less speculation and more actual content to show the world, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a second of it. 